Elatoon will try and take a yes. shot. Elatoon, what a perfect strike. She's had a fantastic season last season and she's got it up and running again. Two assists in the first game, now a goal of her own in the second. It's Leicester nil, United one. What a, what a lovely, lovely strike that was. And again, just as we've been saying, she's been finding those pockets coming off the front, uh, off the, uh, the defenders, finding those pockets and getting faced up. And you don't want to give her half a chance because she's not going to turn that shot down. And, and a really, really good finish. Uh, and hopefully that can settle United now down uh, and start playing the quality football that we know they can play. And Glenn, it'll be interesting to see how United come out in this second half because as you said they needed to tidy up slightly didn't they yeah definitely and uh, again it looks a positive start and again once again right from the off Ella finding those pockets and putting uh, Lear in uh, on the wide uh, wide left you can see Alessia Russo warming up just behind that corner here comes the corner in Doris Dotti yes. gets a goal for United and Manchester United straight away in this second half have found their second goal. And it's a perfect start. Exactly what Mark Skinner would have been saying to them in the half-time break. Go out, get those goals, finish the game. And Maria thoris has done just that. Corner kick comes in for Leicester City. Headed away by Zellum. And just reached out of the net. Did it go over the line? The Leicester City players are asking for it. I think uh, they've given it. I think it did go over the line. They've given the goal. The referee has given the goal. And Leicester City find themselves back in this match. Marriott thought she was able to get rid of it. And it looks like the ball went over the line. And Leicester are right back in this. Leicester 1, United 2. Ball still in play for Hansen. Here's a chance now for Toon to make it three for Thomas. Yes. Martha Thomas gets her first goal for United. Came off as a sub onto the pitch and immediately makes an impact on this game. And United have their third goal and they are up and running again. Leicester one, United three. Very narrow again. Toon will try and take a yes. shot. Yes. Ella Toon. Good vision from David De Gea to get things started. Bruno Fernandes from distance. Oh my goodness me. Bruno Fernandes with an absolute worldie. So Toon, we had to battle today, but we came out on top in the end. Yeah, I think every game in this league's a battle. Um, every game, uh, the team poses a, dif a different challenge and I think we did really well to control the game. Um, I think personally we could have been a lot better in possession and we still managed to get three goals and the three points, so that's all that matters, that we got the win. We had really attacking, lots of attacking threats in the second half. Was it maybe slightly disappointing that we didn't have that threat in the first half? Yeah, of course. Um, we created a lot of chances, first and second half, second half so many and we were hitting the crossbar hitting the post good saves from the keeper but we're creating those chances which is the main thing and now it's about putting them all away another goal for you as well and it was a cracking strike <laughs> yeah everyone said that but i can't remember much about it um just i was on the edge of the box and got the got the shot on target and it went in so happy days we've got on the score sheet but more importantly we got the three points when we went in at half time one nil up what was mark saying to you um, just stay on top of the game, um, keep doing what we've been doing, um, but let's get um, technically better on the ball, individually, keeping possession better. And I think we came out in the second half and we did that and we created a lot more chances. As you said, we hit the post, hit the crossbar, had one cleared off the line. It certainly felt like it should have been more than three, didn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, on another day, it could have been six, seven, um, but we've managed to get three goals and the three points, which is the main thing. And we're creating those chances, which is key for us. And um, now it's about going back into training and making sure we put those chances away. That's two wins from the first two games. You must be delighted as a team with that. Yeah, of course. Um, we set ourselves targets and every game we want to go in and get the three points. And we've managed to get six points from our first two games under Mark, um, which is massive for us. And now it's international break and 
we can go away and be confident um, with our on our international camps. Um, so yeah, we're very happy with the performances and the goals we've scored and the chances we've created and more importantly, the six points. And just finally, international break, as you said, so many players on international duty, <coughs> that shows just where we are as a team, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, massive for us. We've got so many going away um, to represent the country. Um, like I said, with, with two games, um, we're all feeling really confident and now it's about going on camp and proving why we've been selected and, and keeping up, uh, keep improving, keeping working hard and making sure we're ready for when we come back as well. Muff, a lot of attacking football from us today and in the end we got the result. Yeah, um, I think we knew that we could get at them. Um, obviously Leicester are a team that like to press and like to be very aggressive so that leaves um, a lot of room on the counter and a lot of spaces in behind and that was what we went for and I think you know scoring three goals we executed that quite well. We talk about our impact players, our game changes, you came on and certainly proved that. Yeah, um, I mean, listen, everyone in the squad's really important. Um, so to come on and to, you know, help help the girls win the game is what it's all about. And um, I'm really happy that I could do that. And you could have potentially had yourself a second at the end. Yeah, we'll um, we'll cut that one from the from the highlights because I just rushed it and completely missed it that one. <laughs> how about playing in a stadium like this then? How does that feel for you guys and how far the women's game has come? Yeah, it's huge. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of clubs are, are progressing with that. And for Leicester to, you know, come and say that they're having eight home games here is big and to play on a pitch like this in front of more fans is really nice and I think all it's going to do is keep elevating the women's game. First competitive goal for you in red. Strikers work off goals like that. Confidence breeds confidence, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, I'm really happy to get in amongst the goals um, and it's, you know, sometimes a bit of pressure to find that first one. So now that it's, it's gone in, um, hopefully smooth sailing from here. At 2-1, it was a bit nervy, wasn't it? But you came on, got that third goal and things settled right down. Yeah, I mean, 2-1 is one of the most dangerous score lines. So to make that 3-1 settle a bit more, you know, sort of kill some of the confidence that Leicester may have had after their first goal, um, it's important. And I think, you know, we did well with that. And we kept pushing for more, you know, we kept creating chances. One cleared off the line, um, some, some good dangerous corners as well. So, you know, we, we kept threatening them um, and that's what we're looking to do. You know, we're looking to, to write teams off and, you know, get a lot of goals. Miracle really that we only scored three as you said there were plenty of chances hit the post hit the crossbar had it cleared off the line there could have been more couldn't it? Yeah absolutely um, and you know we're, we're working in that every single day in training um, goals win games um, obviously at the back we'll be disappointed that we conceded a goal um, have to see if it went over the line or not but um, no to, uh, to, to score goals and to win here was big and that's two wins from two now so we're, we're really happy. Mark, today we hit the post, hit the crossbar, had one cleared off the line. How did we only score three? I have no idea, but what a testament to the way the players are interacting, their togetherness, that connected nature of linking play in tighter areas, um, freeing and understanding when to free themselves up into wider areas. And look, we should have scored more. I think as we progress, we're going to work on the mindset of finishing, not just the technicality of it. And that's going to be the key to it, because when you come into big moments in big games, we need to take them um, but I'm pleased and, and, and what I stress to the whole of the players is it's the process we can win games of football but if we get our processes right we'll be in the position more often to win the games that we need to we've talked about the United way of playing that attacking style the fans here today certainly appreciated that yeah I hope so you know we, we tried to do it in a slightly different style we know that Manchester United is a club that wants to attack and so we, we have to have that in our DNA um, how we do it can vary and so that's what we're trying to find our own style of doing that with the players that we have. Uh, but hopefully the fans are enjoying what we're doing and what we're starting to build. That's only two games. So if we can continue to build that momentum and how we play, then we're going to be in a really exciting team to watch. Yeah, that is two wins from two. So you must be delighted with how your team starts. Brilliant. Look, we have to pick up points. That's part of my job is to pick up the points. But I think we have to move away from just the we must win this way we have to find ways to beat the opponent i think we did that today we knew how to unlock them which spaces to use and we adapted and that was brilliant from our team so we want to win i stress that to everybody that listens but we got to find the right ways to win that's so so important we talked about our game changes and how players can come on and really have an impact and martha was a perfect example of that today. she was she was and so are less as well because we're going to have more of those players. It's just you, you'll be used in moments where you know your skill set can impact the game. There'll be times that the, our game changers are the ones that will start and then the other players will come in. We have to build this not one only. We have to build it that everybody comes in and does their job for the team because that's how important the team is to them. And that's the most important message I want to stress. Uh, one change that you were forced into was Maria coming on. She got herself a goal. 
and off the back of that, how also is Millie? Well, we, I don't know yet. I'm going to go and assess the, the doctors. What I do know is our medical team is brilliant, so they'll, they'll go and make sure that Millie's comfortable and, and we'll assess as we need to, and then obviously we'll update as we do. But um, we're all with her um, and we'll make sure that she's looked after. And a first competitive goal for Maria as well. Brilliant, brilliant. And I think Maria's shown that, that quality of composure but matches it with the physicality. And the two forwards they played against today were very, very physical and very direct. And I thought that both Aoife and Millie at the point until she went off and then Maria controlled them brilliantly. So it's brilliant she's got a goal, but I thought they defended exceptionally well today because that's a big part of how you win games. We go into international break now. Good opportunity for you and your staff and your players to take stock and see where we are. Yes, and, and I must stress it's not a time for us to sit and stand still. It's now time to work with our game changers to make sure that they're in positions to be ready to start and work on all the little details that we can get out of them and, and, and they can give to our team. So for me and my staff, we'll go in, we'll have a day off tomorrow, we'll go in Tuesday ready to focus on how we can develop every single player at this club. Jonathan, first home game at King Power Stadium in the WSL. Just sum up your overriding emotions after that one. Um, yeah, it was sort of like a roller coaster, wasn't it, this, this, this game? Um, I think before the game started, I had the luxury of sort of sort of pottering about and I came out to watch because obviously I'm not doing much of the warm up and I came out to watch and I saw the stadium fill up with all the fans behind us and it was a really nice feeling, it was a special feeling. Um, I think as the stadium got fuller, the atmosphere was clear to see. Uh, fantastic advert for where teams should be in the WSL and why playing in the stadium has such a big impact. I think what, four and a half thousand fans it was today, which was brilliant for our first home game. and. Hopefully that we've entertained them enough today to make sure they come back again and also that they can see that there's a team they can be proud of to be behind. Um, the only disappointment today is that we didn't get them the victory. But you know what? The girls put their all out there and they left everything out on the pitch and we can't ask for much more today. You clearly had to shift the team around and, and the formation around and, and pretty much everything from the last game. So yeah. with so much change, I guess you must be really proud though of what the girls did tonight. This is what it's about, you have squad depth. We still managed to put 11 competitive girls out of there. We still had some good subs in. We also showed a very clear and distinct pathway with our junior setup where we had seven academy girls on the bench today, I believe. And, or no, six, sorry. And I think for me, that's phenomenal to show that we're prepared to put trust in them. And with young Mackenzie Smith getting on today, which was, I mean, it's a brilliant debut to play against Man U, isn't it? Um, I think it did have a slight impact, but not enough for us to be dis not to be disappointed that we should have still taken our chances and we should still be ruthless in front of goal as well as sort of our decision making to to, to sort of keep ourselves in that game. But like I say, it, it's a it's a great day with the fans, but we'll just collect ourselves again and go again. I guess at two 0 down, it, it's tough to come back from. But you you did get that goal back through Abby McManus, and at that point, are you thinking we might be on to to get back into this game? Well, I thought it could be the FA Cup all over again. <laughs> it was sort of still had half an hour to go, didn't we? So it was sort of about that time again where we scored those two goals against them um, end of last season. But but credit to United, like after that goal went in, they actually then controlled the game for five minutes. They killed it off. They they changed the tempo and they 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 did the right things from a game management point of view. Um, and that sort of took a little bit of the sting out from from our point of view. Um, we are disappointed in the types of goals we conceded today because we know we should be better from that point of view. Um, while some of them are great finishes, the build-up to that wasn't acceptable from our point of view. But we'll just go again, um, we'll work hard in training and we'll just get ready for West Ham now.